Hi, hello, welcome to H&M, can I take your order? Last time we spoke, I was at the top of my game, but then I got a haircut and disappeared. Let's dish. In my last video, I showed you a cool denim jacket that I had bought and I said that that might be the key to eternal confidence. And I also said that it was not actually the key. It's a cheap way to make yourself feel better while you're trying to become more confident in the long term. And I realized that I was absolutely right. It's not permanent at all. I fell off the deep end. Over the past few weeks, I got a job, got stressed about a job, lost the job, got sad about losing the job, didn't have any kind of work for a couple weeks, wallowed in the pain, got back to normal, and then now I'm here. And I don't know why, but the jacket stopped working. Or the haircut, it could have been like a Samson thing. I lost all of my emotional strength in my hair. But then I started thinking maybe confidence doesn't lie in a great jacket. Maybe it isn't rooted in great hair. Maybe it's something entirely different. So. I got new shorts. Quick disclaimer, I did not purchase these shorts. They were sent to me in the mail, very kind of them. But you can find the link to these shorts in the description down below, as well as a 10% off coupon code, Let's Talk Shorts. So weeks ago, I got this package in the mail from an Australian beach shorts company called Yubi, as you see, U-B-U. Oh. That's cute. I love it. It's very positive. I need that. They make high quality quick dry swimwear and recently launched their new stretchy shorts and for some reason asked me to talk about them. They fit like a glove. I want to be clear. I am the perfect example of their typical model. If you go to their Instagram, it is very aspirational. Beautiful men wearing beautiful shorts on beautiful beaches. It's great. And I think they hit the nail on the head with me. And finally, the perfect model has access to the perfect shorts. So let's talk about these shorts. They're soft. They're very soft. And they're very dry. They check all of the boxes of what I would expect out of a pair of high quality quick drying shorts. They can feel great all day, but that doesn't matter if they don't fit. And I don't think these are going to fit, actually. They're a medium. Why did I get a medium? Ooh, this is cool. The thing, like they're metal. See? You hear that? I hope you do. They're metal. That's neat. Or at least they look metal. They could be plastic and they could be painted and they'd, they'd fool me so easily. Let's try them on. I want to make this clear. I usually wear small clothes. So wearing medium clothes, not in my cards. But they're all right. They're not bad. Look at those. Wow. Big man on Mulberry Street. We're living a good life. For being a size medium, they fit really well. And with the ties, boom, they're not going anywhere. I forgot to be a real UV model. I have to show you my stomach. Here we go. I'm right here. Why do you, you don't have to yell. Okay. I think the biggest sell for me is that these shorts actually feel better than wearing nothing. I was wearing nothing before and that felt okay, but these shorts feel great. I don't know actually if I'm supposed to give a recommendation or just talk about it. Uh, whatever. I will give you a recommendation. I recommend these shorts as a Prater pick. Go Yubi! You did it! Wow! At least physically. But what about on a grander scale? I know we all know the verse, but I'll still read it to you anyway. The verse reads, for you be so loved the David that they sent one of their many begotten pairs of shorts that whosoever may wear them shall not be lame, but have everlasting confidence. And do I feel that? Uh, no, I don't because I can't. And listen, that's no fault of the shorts themselves. That's just recognition that we all feel cool sometimes and we all feel lame sometimes and down other times. And it doesn't matter what your hair is like or your jackets are like or what your shorts are like, nothing can really change that. I think coolness comes from presence. The coolest people in the world to me are the ones that are totally grounded in themselves. So if you can find a way to tap into yourself, not your body, not what you put on your body, but really yourself, then you can find peace. And peace is pretty cool if you ask me. But also if these shorts make you feel cool, then wear them up. Who am I to stop you? As long as you are equally trying to find a place of balance and presence to make that feeling of cool a little more actually cool. I was recently reminded that it's okay to feel. Feel the good, feel the bad, feel the mundane, and live it all up. It's all part of the human experience. But what I've been guilty of lately is making those feelings my identity. Saying things like, I feel cool right now, therefore I am a cool person, my identity is David Prater, cool person, which is true, I do want to point that out, but it also, the other shoe can drop. And of course, I think self-love is very important, but I also think that recognizing that what you're currently feeling isn't your identity is equally important. Because then when another emotion inevitably comes along, you won't know how to deal with it as well. Maybe you start feeling sad or scared or worried, then all of a sudden your identity as cool person is that much more impacted. But if you're conscious of it and you say, I am not my feelings, I, me, am separate from the feelings, my emotions that I currently hold, 
then you can feel the next emotion a little more easily and you can grapple with it and you can say, look at you, I don't like it, I will feel you, I don't appreciate this right now, but I know that the next one I can equally deal with it. I can handle and you can juggle them until you're back to being cool. But yeah, I love these shorts. Thanks, Yubi. And I love you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and click the like button on the video itself. That helps me know that you like the video. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel and talk to me in the comment section down below or on Instagram specifically. I want to know, do you have any kind of like a symbol that you wear or that you look at? Maybe like a ring or a necklace or a a really cool jacket or a pair of shorts that helps you to stay grounded. Those kinds of tokens can really help out because they can make you feel a little bit more sturdy and stable, but they can be dangerous if you're relying on them as a crutch to feel less self-conscious. There's a very distinct line there, and I want to discuss that with you if you care to in the comments down below or on Instagram at David underscore Prater. And that's it. Leave your pretty words in the comment section down below, and with that, I'm gonna go. So, yeah. I feel good. Making a video. Feels pretty good. All right. <laughs> Bye? But they can feel great all the doo-dah I just slapped myself in the face with one of the ties. <laughs>